this is one year's growth and you can see large vessel this is these are vessels otherwise called as pores and compared to day to day it is having small sized vessels and more of fibers the remaining tissues are all fibers okay such distinction or difference between early wood vessels and late wood vessels make the ring porous and thereby the rings are very clear and they are very beautiful to look at we we'll cut open the lanceolate portion they are very beautiful to look at this is as opposed to sandal sandal is a diffuse porous means there is no distinction between early wood and late wood vessel sizes and throughout any years growth there is no size difference which means that you are not able to distinguish one years growth with another that is not the case of teak teak you are able to distinguish each years growth very very precisely and that is why we have a science called as dendroclimatology or dendrochronology and teak is a very important species used in uh, those studies whereas majority of our species are diffuse porous means there is no size difference in early wood and late wood now since teak is a uh, three i mean wood in general is three dimensional you are shown the three dimension structures of both the ring porous and diffuse porous it may be very very uh, you know I, i won't say it's very friendly to look at those pictures right now you may not be able to understand much but the key point here is that there is lot of uniformity in the sizes of the cells here this is the cross section is there any cross section or any bit of it there is size almost uniform here whereas that is not the case here size is larger in the early part later it is smaller vessels are smaller in size and you can also appreciate some things like you know rays are traveling like small tubes horizontally they are traveling as small tubes horizontally whereas vessels are vertical in in their uh, uh, you know position so i think uh, we can stop for today and continue with the